Yo, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's been a while. I'm back here with another video with my 2022 Accord Sport 2.0. Just doing an update video. Uh, she's looking a little different. Changed up a few things we'll go over in the video. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. As you guys know, I was deciding on which taillights I was gonna get. I ended up getting the V1 clears. They look pretty sick. I like the animation it does at night. Um, you also got the side mark or the the marker lights on the bumper, which they light up. But um, I probably got these like four months ago. But uh, as you see, there's condensation in there, and then the the wires corroded. I don't know if you can see. Well, I don't have them. Yeah, the wires uh, ended up corroding inside because they're so poorly sealed. So you probably want to put electrical uh, water sealant tape, like water resistant tape around them. And then also put weather sealant around the markers, the outside of the markers. But yeah, I just ended up unplugging them. It'll be fine. I also ended up changing the wheels up. We got the... 2022 touring wheels got them brand new off of facebook fortunately for 850 bucks cheap as fuck for all four no tires though but uh yeah i guess this dude his girlfriend got a touring she just didn't like the wheels changed them right away like right up like right when she got the car brand new and i i saw this on facebook these wheels and Ended up picking them up, so we also got the Yofer front lip, <clears throat> which is a really good add-on. Uh, way better than the Akasaka, not gonna lie, because it goes with the side skirts more. But uh, yeah, so it kind of touches the ground. It sticks out further, so it's kind of almost on the ground. It's closer to the ground. And then uh, we also just wrapped the roof black. It's a decent, it's pretty dirty right now. Pretty decent job. I mean, my friend did that. We, it took like 10 hours. So I might do a trunk setup, like get a wood setup going in the trunk. I don't have anything in the trunk to show for, which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're at 37,000 miles. Let me check. We are at 37,000 miles. I've had this car a year and a month. So uh, that's that's a lot of my highway driving. Yeah, guys, we're gonna be at fucking 60,000 miles by our two year mark. Probably 65, but uh, yeah, hey, we're racking up the miles on these brand new cars. That's how it be. Probably keep this thing another year. I know I was talking about getting another car already, but um, I mean, this car is just a, it's a nice daily driver. It's reliable, no problems. I mean, I might as well just fucking keep it. One thing, the O2 sensor actually went out prematurely, which I'm pretty sure that was because of my tune. Let me turn the car off, fuck. I don't want, I don't like my car idling that long. But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the O2 sensor went out on this car like at 20,000 miles. I, did, I bought a one off China. <laughs> I cheaped out and it didn't fucking work and I bought a $300 one from Honda and it worked, so don't cheap out on your parts, I guess. Otherwise, nothing. I haven't had any problems with this car. Um, oh yeah, one thing. This chrome grill, man, like if you buy this car brand new, please PPF this fucking chrome grill. Someone actually backed into me right here. And then... What else? Well, you can't see it at night, but scuff right here. I don't know who the fuck did that, but that happened. <laughs> and then also, if you do a lot of highway driving, lesson learned, it's too late now for me. I mean, there's no point, but probably should have PPF the whole front because the front is just... I did a paint correction recently in ceramic coating. But this fucking front end is just littered in rock chips. Like, it's crazy. The headlights are all... Yeah, it's all rough, 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 rough everywhere on the front. So, 
If you buy a brand new car and you do a lot of highway driving to work, just PPF the fucking front of the car. It comes with, like, this half strip of PPF it comes with from the dealership right here. I don't do shit. I mean, it doesn't even, they don't even cover this part. I have a nasty rock chip right here. Where is it? God, it's so hard to see them at night. This one right here. But, uh, yeah, lesson learned. I mean, it's too late. There's no point in fucking doing it now. But, yeah. These wheels are pretty nice, too. These touring wheels. Um, I haven't curbed them yet, surprisingly. <laughs> I ran over a curb uh, two days ago. I was at Caffeine and Octane. The car means kind of like cars and coffee. I ran over a curb on this wheel. No curb rash. But I scraped my fucking side skirt. So that's what I hit. I, I heard like a... <laughs> and uh, yeah. So I'm lucky on that. With animation. I don't give a fuck if my license plate <laughs> is in the video. Of course, I know people are going to ask about my tints. I got 20% all around, which I'm probably going to change to five. It's not dark enough. And then I got 30% on the windshield. My little penguin. What else? I have not done any more performance mods, guys. Like, I'm trying to save money. All I have is, I still have this Mishimoto intercooler, the black one, and then I have the Stage 3 tune. That's it. Looking, blew some money on some wheels. I had to change the wheels up. And uh, I also got wheel spacers. I forgot to tell you guys. 25 millimeter wheel spacers. So it sits kind of flush. But, uh, yeah, I think that might be it though that, there's nothing on the interior really yeah this is what we're working with just a basic ass interior turn the light on still the same just detailed the interior recently yeah guys i think that might be it for the video um please like comment subscribe if you want to see more content i know it's been a while um yeah, I appreciate the love, guys, on the other videos. Peace out.